There she is. There's the people that we're following right there. Hey, Boogs. Georgian Bay. Near Killarney. And Philip Edward Island is right there to my left. Hey, Gabby. What'd you think of that big water out there? Uh, well, it was okay. I let us carry, but it didn't have some practice. You're scratching your boat on my rudder. Yeah. Just be careful. Line for the shore, right around the rock. You think? Uh, you have the map. Oh no! I no, it's straight ahead. Straight ahead. See, see, see the markers. See the green and, and, and red. We have to go that way.
so this is our tent our tent site so a little tent two people a little tight there are two fire pits right there we are not using those um, we are using another one that's by the water this is a nail in the tree so I hang my a few things to dry these are my gloves we brought our stuff in more things to dry some of our dishes unfortunately these are um, these are booties and my hat unfortunately well, this is the best sight ever but there's a swamp right there and there are a lot of mosquitoes so it's still the best sight ever so as you as you're walking towards the water you have a beautiful view opening right in front of you this is our towels <laughs> actually took a shower that was next to what I hang my uh, my gloves with biodegradable soap this is a shirt that I washed my bathing suit part of it um, I never use a top I use a different top from an, another bathing suit those are my pants that kept me warm um, hang to dry I wash them a little bit those are our spray skirts life jacket that's Matthews this is my life jacket and the pouch for my camera and this is where Matthew wanted to set up everything this is our what we call stinky bag everything that smells um, soap any food any containers uh, our food for tomorrow that's our garbage bag that's the only garbage we have after three days of camping so we're pretty good these are all the tools that Matt is using this is a canister that he's using for to make the fire the hatchet which goes in the tent with us our uh, biodegradable soap our bucket that's supposed to be for washing dishes but we've been using it for carrying water that's what we use to wash and take a bath I mean take a shower today um, our water bottle some of uh, the things that come with the cooking stove that Matt is using right now um, that's his coffee mug doesn't go anywhere without it that's a jet boil part of jet boil um, <laughs> that's a bottle that he's really in love with um, wasn't very useful for now for us because it keeps everything warm so what we what we've been doing uh, we've been using this little thing in here to filter the filter for the water and then I insist on having the water boil just in case these are our two chairs Matthew's hat the swamp um, this is the fire pit we're going to use today this is wood we collected from all over the, the place around our tent we didn't cut anything down we've seen people that cut trees down and just such a shame it really is upsetting and we've seen people leaving garbage it's just it's people don't ever learn um, this is the little find it made me really sad this is a water lily of course now it's dry and just made me really sad to see it let it here dry instead of putting it uh, leaving what it was these are things hang to dry and this is Matthew and I'm boiling water after filtering it so that we can drink water tomorrow <laughs> and yeah. cook food yeah yeah <laughs> So how do you like the site?
Uh, this is the best site so far, I think. I mean, it, it has everything we want except bugs. <laughs> and I love that beach over there. I'm going to make use of it tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to go in on a little visit. This is the map. I've been looking at it the whole time. Um, if you see, let me show you the boats first. Our boats. Those are our boats. Nice and quiet. And I have to say that there are mosquitoes everywhere. I might not be able to keep this straight. As you can see, it's a little cliff. I'm going to walk over so I will show you Matthew's favorite spot. Um, this is like grassy. It's really beautiful up here, especially because it's far away from the mosquitoes. And these are what's left of crawfish. Matthew was showing me this morning. You can see little birds are eating it. They live it all over the place. So let me show you Matthew's favorite spot. He actually went for a dip before we washed, which is was really nice after three days of not being able to. I don't know if you can see there's a little platform and it's really nice and then it goes really really deep. This is what we have in front. The bigger island, two little ones. I want to show you something really cool. There are boats stuck over there. And if you look on that cliff, you see a campsite, which doesn't show on the map. And those people have really, really nice campsite up on the cliff. The only bad thing about that is that you have to bring everything up rocks carry all of your gear but it's a beautiful site and they don't have the swamp and that is the main mainland and we really love our site because i'm terrified of bears and this seems like it's far away from from bears so, even better if, even better than um, being on the mainland or close to, and it doesn't look very happy. I want to stop here. We take a look at our campsite. Um, I hope you'll be able to come come up here. It's very relaxing. It's beautiful, and it's just a good place to be in. We absolutely love it, and we're really, really lucky to have beautiful weather. A little windy, but absolutely beautiful. Okay, bye. Well, I've identified about one or two species, but there's basically enough mosquitoes here in this camp to kill a rhino if you don't have one of these fancy tents. Um, but they're on every square inch of, of, the, of the... I mean, you could see them. Yeah, there's many there in there. Oh my god. I don't know if you can see them on the video. Yeah, you can. They're like... They're crawling There's... all over the tent. <laughs> and they hear them. The sound of wings. <laughs> trying to get it's in. It's like buzzing. And I think most of, the mo most of them are located on this black wall thing. I can't really see it, but oh my gosh, you can hear them. Scary, scary stuff. Oh my God. <laughs> we had to actually put out the fire. Because they were they were so bad that we couldn't sit by the fire. Yeah. Because they were gonna eat us alive. Oh my god, they already did. They're just so bad. Oh my god.
gosh. I've never seen those. Nope. Yesterday we had our camp. We had a couple yeah. of mosquitoes, but nothing like this. This is insane. I think well, I, th I think I know why people don't. They come here. They're attracted because it has everything nice. It has a beach. It has a place to put your boats. It's real easy to get your stuff from your boats to the camp. It's real easy. To, it has a nice flat spot. Yeah. That's comfy. Yep. Yep. But but this is insane. Get one of those buzzer things. It'll be going <laughs> all night long. It well, won't stop. Should get ready for bed. So yep. good night. No <laughs> problem. Okay, today we're paddling in some rough waters. That's Matthew. Battery's running out. Alright. Hey. So this is out on an island on Lake Huron. And in order to, you know, eat food and drink water, you have to filter it. Because you don't want to drink water right from the Great Lakes. Um, this is an MSR water filter. And this is a jet boil. Boil it afterwards, even though uh, it's probably fine after the MSR filter. Uh, also, I have to boil it anyway because I'm making the uh, mountain house uh, uh, teriyaki, which is my favorite and my wife's least favorite, but anyway. Um, this is how I filter the water. I gather the water because there's a cliff, if you can see on over there, there's a cliff and, you know, getting up from, you know, filtering directly from the water uh, down there is kind of silly. So we have this uh, portable bucket that we put in our packs that we can filter from. It's also good for washing and for uh, showering and stuff like that, so it's very handy. Uh, definitely um, one of our most valuable things that we have, um, aside from the water filter and the stove. So, um, and this is our camp. Um, it's very windy on the other side of the island, so we had to put, uh, but you know, the wind could change direction, so we put rocks around. We had the, the, the tent down with the rocks. Um, all of our gear is here, all of our firewood is here. And this will be our last night on Lake Huron uh, this summer. Um, this is how we, this is how we uh, thrive, not survive, in the outdoors. I'm Matt McCann. Thanks for watching.
trying to hold the video steady. Yeah, it's a fish. Private beach on Lake Huron. Say hi, Gabby. So for this frame, I actually had to get rid of the sound because the wind was so strong. Um, but I'm right now looking at the island we just were at before, and we decided to leave it because it was so windy and the w waves were picking up, uh, and we wanted to get out of there before it got too dangerous. Um, but that's where we were. That's West Fox in the distance there, and then we moved inland more to uh, to get some, uh, you know, to get some um, shelter from the wind and also to get into lower seas. Um, and we were just exploring the island uh, like we always do, walking around to make sure that uh, you know we know where things are and uh, if there's any firewood and stuff like that. But we came inland, and as you can see it's less windy on the inside of the islands where it's protected. If you go on the outside. Uh, and you're fully exposed to the wind, you're going to see um, swells, like I said, up to uh, eight feet uh, in places that were fully exposed. Um, anytime you're behind a rock, the waves are a little bit less. Um, but uh, it was really windy that day, and we saw a rescue um, from a helicopter. That's Tuft Island, or at least I call it that. Um, but we found, that was the first place we found firewood. Someone cut a bunch of firewood and Put it right there on that island and just left it there for I don't know how long. So we picked up a bunch of it and brought it with it, with us to our first camp. Um, but this is on the southern side of uh, of the island, and this is our campsite. Our campsite is going to be to to that to that side right there where my wife is pointing. So those are the foxes where we were yesterday when it was really windy and this is our site today. I'm going to show you a little bit how it looks like around. It's very peaceful. It's beautiful. Okay. You can see the water from all sides. It's like a small island. Right before the tip. It's about 7.25, we woke up early because we wanted to leave early before the wind picked up. Usually it picks up uh, around 10 noonish, I would say. Yesterday was really bad. And so it looks like, I'll show you from the water in. This is the side that Matthew wanted to put our tent on, but we decided, we discussed it, and we said that might not be a good choice on such a windy day. So we decided to go in the island a little more. And we had a fire yesterday. Um, very small one though, we were always concerned about sparks and, you know, something happening so and I'm I'm easily freaked out about things like that so Matthew really made a very very small fire and you can see some woods left over this site is just beautiful there are no mosquitoes on this one these are his tools for making fire here like a this is a makeshift little place um, that we found and this is a little note I assume from a little girl um, that is telling us about a jumping rock, which I think we found. It's really cool. And she put it in a ziplock bag on the rock so it won't fly away. It's really neat. <laughs> it really brightened our day after such a... <sighs> 
such a hard day of paddling. These are dishes, uh, those canisters that Mati is using, um, our chairs, our cooking stove, these are our snacks. If you look at them, we've decided to be very organized. So on each bag we say day two, which has uh, our morning meals um, and snacks and dinner pouch for dinner this is this is our only garbage we have it's one bag of garbage that's it so our soap biodegradable biodegradable soap these are my you know these are as i told you before the stinky bag these are dishes a water bottle some waterproof bags we might have this coffee mug and all those things these are our boats we decided to bring them here from over there because we want to load them really quickly and leave right away these are some things that we hang to dry Sk uh, spray skirts jackets um, life jackets so you see this is a really beautiful site so if you get a chance um, to come here this is a really nice place to stop now, of course, we found garbage. I found a fork, and then I was looking at the stars and something red and green that looked like this came up. And I was like, why would people do that? <laughs> it just doesn't make any sense. So yeah, people leave garbage, unfortunately. I really want to come back to this place in a few years and it would be really nice if I can actually get to enjoy it. And you see all of our stuff, uh, all of our compartments are open because we're getting ready to leave. It was really early and the water is really beautiful. This is just a beautiful place, absolutely beautiful place. Has uh, one, two, um, so one on the rocks over there, that's one spot for camping. This is two, very good sides, three, and we explored the island yesterday and we found two or three other places. So, you can, you can go around and find a spot that you like and you can camp. It's close to the water and as you can see, our tent, our paddles and our booties. And this is Matthew putting stiff stuff together. Um, he is he got to the thermal rests. He put away the sleeping bags. And let me see what we have in the tent. We have our personal lamps, uh, towels. We said we we're gonna swim, but we didn't get the chance to. Um, um, Anne Marie McDonald's, um, the way the crowd flows, uh, of flies, I'm sorry, the way the crowd flies, and that's a book that I found on the, one of the foxes, the West Fox, and I honestly thought that might be from a teacher that we met the day we were there, like four days ago, and I said, wow, that's really cool that she left the book. Then I looked at the book, and... The first 45 pages were missing, which indicates that they were using the book to make a fire, which for me it's a crime. So I immediately removed the book. I took it with me. And of course I started reading it. Even without those 45 pages, it's a pretty good book. I'm a teacher too, and I really don't like to see things like this. It makes me really upset. How people are using books, even after you read them, you can donate them to the library, you can have someone else read them. Would it be nice if, you know, the person would have left the book there for someone else to read, not to remove the pages to make a fire. Anyway, um, you can see from here, from this very rock, you can see far away can also sense that it's not windy today it's nice and 
and warm even at 8 o'clock in the morning it's sunny it's a beautiful beautiful day which makes me sad because this is our last day and I wish I would stay a little longer but we promised ourselves that we are gonna come back here and paddle at a slower pace this time and to enjoy the little islands a little more we did enjoy it tremendously so um, and I think this is the jumping rock that uh, the little kid I, I imagine it's a little kid um, I imagine it's a little girl and the name on the letter was Jessie or Jess um, and this is how it looks like Matthew really wanted to swim but he decided against it this morning because the water is really cold <laughs> but that's, this is a beautiful place okay so this is how it looks like it's a beautiful site where families and friends are responsible, um, environmentally responsible. And please, 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 if you ever come back here, I mean, if you ever come here, we're definitely gonna come back, but if you ever come here, please be environmentally responsible. Don't leave any trace whatsoever. Um, as, you could, as you could see in the video, I found some garbage that people left and I also found a fork less garbage than other sides but still okay so please come out here we take a canoe on a nice day um, have a marine advisory radio so if you have a canoe you know that you won't be stuck here for days if the water is too choppy and you can get back but a canoe, a kayak, friends and family it's a really awesome place to be in so this is the access point, starting and ending point. The only thing you could see from the cross the channel, across the channel, is the uh, the star there. And then as soon as you come to the star, as soon as you go in, there's a sign on the rock that says this way. That's how you get back.